What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video Next match, Crossboundless Cup Second match here of the group, of group B a Second, um, well, however, uh, like, road of uh, all these new rematches, right? Um, the first decklist, of course, we have Chaos from 2003 Such a nostalgic decklist, especially for myself I've been playing this game ever since the beginning But this particular list from the OCG 2003 We weren't able to play as a in pretty much every card, almost every card, unrestricted. And I'm looking at BLS, for example, for that time, right? Uh, Thunder Dragon here as well in the main deck, Magical Scientist, who, And uh, yeah, Bot of Greed, Metamorphosis, Monster Reborn, uh, Graceful Charity, Time Seal, let's not, for net, let's not forget that powerful card. Uh, sixth Sense, again, OCG list with Crush card as well, available in the OCG, but it took us years to get that one for us DCG players, you know, Shonen Jump prize cards and eventually Gold Series as well. Second list, we have like an underdog deck and that's Sylvan's, um, again, can be a super strong deck if it's able to start and can play uninterrupted, but it's like one of those decks that can easily lose to itself, right? Breaking um, due to the high amount of high level monsters, but again, it has, if you open like Soul Charge, Lone Fire, you can pump out such a strong board that almost none, or at least no deck, can quickly, at least can overcome, right? So which deck has the advantage? I feel Chaos has the slight advantage over uh, Sylvan's here in this case There is like 13 years difference between both these decks But you know, Banlist.deck does have like a lot of powerful cards um, Like a lot of board wipes as well And cards like Vanity's Emptiness don't really do much against Chaos And um, then again, a well-timed Emptiness can win a duel I'm not saying that right So that's, that, that, that's again definitely possible um, Okay, let's not waste any more time Let's hop in into the first duel Okay, game number one, uh, the opponent gets a start here, the opponent is playing with Sylvans, I am playing with mm -mm -mm Chaos indeed. We are using the pre-errata, well pre-opening uh, with only five cards, rule right from 2014 if I'm not mistaken. He gets to start and that's definitely an okay start right, um, I believe he didn't use his normal summon so he should be able to like bounce back his fertilizer with the level, um, the, the rank 7 exceed, oh, I forgot the same, is it like o Oreo or something like it, Orea? You know, the rank Rank 7 that can bounce back cards, um, but not to really be sure if we would have been able to end with Felgrant as well. And again, Felgrant is definitely good against something like Chaos, protection against Rageki, Darkhol, and affected by, you know, Ring of Destruction, etc, etc. But Snatch Steel is one of those sneaky cards. Okay, Felgrant will make itself unaffected by, you know, Snatch Steel eventually, but Snatch Steel is still equipped until, well, eventually the end phase, etc. Then Felgrant's effect will um, end, and then, yep, I can steal that Felgrant. And nope, yep, indeed, draw the Yatagarasu, stealing games ever since 2003. Yep, and if your opponent has no answer to it, no draw phase, well Yata has to deal damage right. And yep, no draw phase. Okay, the Silver Charity indeed. Uh, not really sure if they can do something right. Okay, the Spore eventually will uh, provide some uh, at least some father right with Mount Salvania. Mount Salvania is pretty much just only one of his I believe the, the, the one card that's keeping him in the duel, but nope, Harpy's Feather Duster is going to seal the deal. <laughs> Oh, all these broken cards, man. Harpy's Feather Duster again, and Yatagarasu again. Come in clutch, coming in clutch, and sealing the deal again, right? So no draw face when uh, it deals damage. Game number two, um, again, he gets to start, having the sixth card definitely helps for a deck like Sylvan's. And now I believe, yep, he opens up Soul Charge. Depends on what uh, he's going to do, right? He definitely has a couple of options. I believe he could have gone for, mm -mm, let me double check, I believe um, Dracosec, he gets some tokens, right? Maybe go for the, yeah, definitely had access to to like a rank 8 exceed uh, Felgrant um, then again maybe he wants to keep his soul charge well again it's up to him right um, well I go for six cents being greedy right I think there is like no benefit from me sending cards from my day to the graveyard so calling like three or four in case of something like dragon rulers is not really optimal I think so just call five and six and hope for the best but I believe the dice was rolled and it was a three so a bit unfortunate right um, but crush card again equalize the score 
I believe just like in game number one, right? So still left Sinister Serpent and I played a little bit too quickly here since we knew he had that mushroom on the top of his deck and do not mind Sylvania, the Sylvan Field spell will let you excavate a top card if you want so mushroom will activate, right? Then again he would have been able to draw the mushroom, set it and potentially excavate when it's like flipped face up like the top five cards but yeah, again, that's probably what, what would have happened now, but nope, it's not going to matter too much, uh, Delinquent 2 or that card, um, and eventually the top deck Soul Charge again coming in clutch. Uh, yeah, what can I do, right? The Alsei is going to get rid of the Sinister Serpent, which he definitely knew, bouncing it back to the to the bottom of the deck indeed, and uh, yeah, the Delinquent 2 is not going to do that much and set the Magician of Fate, but again the All Say will eventually bounce the Magician of Fate and now he's able to attack for a game, so 1-1, mm, one, one. but again I have the advantage that is definitely good with all the hand destruction interruption cards, Pot of Greeds, must be nice having like the instant plus one, right, and that, that's, this is such a del delicious setup, like, set Mask of Darkness, like, you know, the, maybe, like, an, um, a known card for uh, some players, like, it's just like Magician of Fate, right, to get back a trap card when flipped, and if you can combine it with something like Tsukuyomi, and um, get back Time Seal, banned cards currently in our format, right, Again, such a powerful play, so the opponent now is forced to blast her away my Mask of Darkness, but again, it paid off, getting back uh, the time seal that was, um, you know, used up earlier, and a Heavy Storm again was quite crucial now, we see, due to the Vanity's Emptiness, and now Mr. MVP, Mr. Magical Scientist again, oh, coming in clutch, going for double restrict, and the third restrict, or this, yeah, the third restrict is going to enter the field, or be summoned to the field as well, under Metamorphosis, uh, I believe it's just better to leave the scientist on the field, potentially to reuse its effect during the next turn, since again, restrict on the field, your opponent, or at least both the players, cannot attack, a bar of course restrict itself, so the magical scientist is safe to potentially special summon other fusions, and we know we still have Tsukuyomi to put the restrict on the field face down, so you know, the other monsters will still be able to attack, Monster Reborn providing some nice fuel to eventually attack for a game, so again, very good duel, a lot of power plays on both players' sides, but eventually Chaos was able, uh, well yeah, eventually got the win, so two points for Chaos, so one point eventually for Sylvans as well, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it, next matchup should follow very, very soon. Um, okay, guys, that's it, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out, peace!